Be ready. In cryptocurrency, we are waiting for the market to ignite. And there's a lot of stuff going on that you need to know about to why I think the price is going up. Yes, you may feel disappointed that we still sit around 59,000. I'm about to show you some stuff in this video that's definitely going to get you excited. I've been talking a lot about September, and in my opinion, it cannot come soon enough. But there is some even bigger things you need to know about if you're sat on the sideline wishing you'd sold at 72,000. We're going to break it all down for you in this video, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. So we know Bitcoin's been trading within this channel now all the way back from early March this year, where we did hit the peak of around 73,800. And since then, it's felt like we've only ever been going down. But the point here is be ready for what's coming. And I always talk about this in my live streams, that if you can explain the reason or understand why the market's doing what it's doing, that should fill you with a level of confidence. It's when we don't know what the market's doing that it starts to be uncertain. Fear, uncertainty and doubt creates nervousness in markets, particularly risk on markets such as Bitcoin. So in this video, like I said, I want to talk just around a couple of key things that you need to be aware of, understand and ensure that you are making the right decisions for your portfolio and to maximize the potential that I feel is coming this September. And just for reference, I believe we're nearer to 100,000 than 30,000. I absolutely believe the market is still got the best weeks and months ahead. So let's just start off by looking at this. Bitcoin is the top 10 tradable asset globally in the markets with things like Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia earnings just came out recently. Amazon, Silver, Meta platform, which, you know, given what Zuckerberg's been up to, that might just suddenly become the number 10th asset. And cryptocurrency and Bitcoin here, 1.168 trillion is its overall market cap. So for those that think Bitcoin is going to zero, you are sadly mistaken. But when we talk about decoupling and we understand why things are happening, a lot of people, and you may hear people talk about this, oh, Bitcoin's tracking the stock market. We need to see the S&P 500 start to rally. The reality is we decoupled from the S&P 500 a while back. So they almost work against each other. When you take a look here at the price of Bitcoin versus what we're seeing with the S&P 500, you will notice two very distinct things. The S&P 500 is doing this and going up, breaking new all-time highs pretty much. Much, whereas Bitcoin isn't quite doing the same. Therefore, not only have we decoupled from the S&P 500, they actually now work against each other. And for me right now, this is money flow. Money is either flowing, given the fact we have ETFs, into Bitcoin or out. It's as simple as that. But when it's flowing out, it's going into more risk off assets. The S&P 500, the Nasdaq, and many of these other Wall Street assets. So again, this is just important to reference. If you want a completely rudimental view, if the S&P is going up, generally Bitcoin will trade sideways or go down. If Bitcoin is going up, then you generally see the S&P 500 coming down. So if you are in a rudimental terminology, we may see a move this weekend because the S&P doesn't simply trade. But talking about ETFs, we actually once again saw some outflows for iShares. Now, I've talked about this on my live stream that I think we've got the cheat code when it comes to BlackRock. BlackRock move the market. They are the people that admittedly hold the price. They offset some of the big dumping we've seen from institutions and head funds. We talked about this liquidity hunting and whale hunting a while back. But iShares, again, the second only day to get outflows from their ETF. Now, is this just money moving back into the NASDAQ or the S&P 500? You would argue yes. But is this an indication of what's coming? Are we about to see just a little bit of a cooling off in the market where buyers can come back in at a different price? You look at the fear and greed index, we're exactly the same now as we were at the bottom of the bear market. Very interesting. People's mindsets around a fifty-nine dollars to $60,000 Bitcoin feels the same as a fifteen dollars to $20,000 Bitcoin right now. Again, giving us optimism for a market uptrend. I think it's very important to reference those terminologies. If you look at the order book, the liquidity delta chart, this has given us a view of basically buying versus selling. How much orders are in for a positive and a negative? How many people want to buy versus how many people want to sell? And it's very interesting when you look at this chart and you actually see a sentiment here going all the way back to early May of just general optimism in the market. People looking to purchase versus selling. What you do notice is these big wicks down that correlate perfectly to big sales on the chart. What does this tell us. It tells us that fundamentally we see big whales, big wallets, big institutions dump the market, whereas the overall trend is actually upwards. And if you remove these four or five big sell-offs, you actually see a more significant 
price increase. Now, this could be whale selling. This could be dormant wallets coming out. This could be anything from hedge funds trying to liquidate those, trying to push the price up, much, much more. We know the game isn't fair, but ultimately it's understanding what the game is to start with. So again, just gives you a sentiment of exactly what's going on. And finally, and this is as rudimental as you possibly get, but for me, it shows a sentiment within the market is using Polymarket. Now, everyone seems to be using this right now, the cryptocurrency based betting platform, but lots of people here predicting a $70,000 Bitcoin come by September. Now, it's going to move pretty quickly. That's the reality. But actually, when you take a look at what some of the price predictions are as we move towards the Fed rate, as we move towards the 18th of September, such a key date for us, again, you can see what people are betting. Ethereum at nearly $600,000. Is it going to break $3,000 by the end of the year? Lots of people believe so. Maybe even $4,000. What's this? This is the sentiment of the average investor, the you on I looking to get into crypto. This isn't about hedge funds. This isn't about people suppressing the market. This is ultimately about hedging bets. Can Bitcoin be of 60,000 by September the 18th? Well, ultimately, lots of people believe that to be the case. In fact, 12,000 bets have been put on that sentiment. So when we take a look at the Bitcoin price, like we said, it is trending in this downward channel. It's holding on the 200 exponential moving average. And we are obviously looking forward to this September the 18th. So in my opinion, and it is my opinion only at this matter, I absolutely believe there is more upside to come. Yes, I think we'll see more institutions coming in through the ETF market. We know we're going to get interest rate cuts in September. People weirdly pricing in 25 basis points. I'm in a world that I think it's 50 and I think he has to go aggressive in order to get back what he's already missed. The UK has already done 50. Canada's done 50. Denmark's done 50. The US has to get on. And with a weakening dollar, which weirdly in the last week has actually been pretty strong, then the market can only, in my opinion, go one way. So what am I doing? Remember, when the market is fearful, you should absolutely be greedy. And when the market's greedy, that's the time you should be fearful. So my opinion and my strategy at the minute, I'm DCAing where I can. I'm picking up some bargains as I'm getting ready for when this market ignites in September, October, into November, December, top of the bull run coming February, March next year, my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But like I said, be ready. Lots of positivity in the market. As always, if you enjoy this content, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.